Hey everyone, how's it going? So I've seen this kind of video before and I thought I might as well do it now. Um, so I've seen videos of people saying what's in my pencil case. So I'm going to do one and the reason I haven't done one before is because I have carried so many pencil cases with me, uh, several bags and sizes, different pens. I couldn't make a decision. So finally, now that I'm moving, I made it, <laughs> I guess, some decisions on what's going to come with me, my essentials. And so I'm going to show you right now, this is what I'm bringing with me. So obviously it's a clear case and I did this on purpose because I wanted to be able to see where things were inside. I have a number of things, so we'll go ahead and we'll go through this. So let's see what kind of mess we have going on in here. So I have, put this down here. I'm going to bring this out just a little bit zoom that in all right so right here i have the jet stream um 0.28 tip um pen uh i love the uni jet stream pens and um this one has red blue and black um i featured this before and i showed it i don't use it too often but i found myself kind of going to it a little bit more than the previous only black so I thought I'm going to keep it and I love the color so I'm going to keep that in there. Um, I have two mechanical pencils. Now I don't know about you but I always carry at least two of like pencils or pens on me because what if one works? What if I run out of lead? Something like that. I kind of worry about that stuff. So I have the Tombow Monograph pen and I got this cute little one. I don't know what brand this is but it says made in korea and it says obake like which is japanese for ghosts so i thought they're very cute they're both in 0.5 um lead size and this one has the twist up eraser so this one though is my favorite pen so I, pencil so i knew i had to bring that with me um kind of getting into the sides of my pencil case here i stuffed as much as possible because I can't bring all my pens with me like on the plane so I'm just gonna bring what I can um, so I have two different types of whiteouts um, this is a stand this tape whiteout this is your standard white whiteout and this is an off-white kind of a creamy beige color I don't honestly know where or when I got this I just kind of saw it I'm thinking I did not get it from the store normal store that I go to I think I got it from somewhere else but um, anyway so this is a it's called WI wiper petite um, but yeah it has a nice off-white color and goes really good with my Inamio uh, planner and the color of that um, and then here of course my Tombow uh, glue tape um, I never go anywhere without glue tape now the only thing I'm gonna say is I there's normally I I carry a pair of like those stick scissors with me but speaking of like essentials I don't have any because I'm like too scared that when I go to check in and through TSA that they're going to take it away so even my kids they wanted to take their stick scissors I said nope you can go several hours on the plane without it so we're going to I'm going to make sure they don't have it either uh, when they go so here I have my ruler. This is one of my favorite rulers. I know it's hard to see, but it's a clear, just a basic ruler with um, five millimeter grid lines. Um, so it's really, it has a nice little slanted edge. So this is really good for like cutting washi and just, you know, general purpose. Uh, let's see, hold on. I have at least, let's see. Okay, so I have two erasers here. So this one is the um, Pentel Click Eraser. And this one, I, I mean, I've had used this since I was in high school and I absolutely love it. So could not help but bring that. And this one is the Tombow uh, Mono Stick. So I'm still in the process of looking for a refill for this before I leave Japan. But um, I do like the mechanism where it's quieter than the Click Eraser and it is actually a good eraser. Um, let's see, Ooh. getting down to the, uh, the meat of this thing here. So I have highlighters, lots and lots of highlighters, but more particularly, this is not even all of them, so I'll take them all out. The, the mild liners, the zebra mild liners, the um, new colors. So I bought myself, like in the previous video show, two sets 
of the mild liner highlighters and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's two more in there somewhere. So I got them all with me. So this is going to be my, for the time being, until from when we moved to Japan to when we get to where we're going, this is going to, these are going to be my go-to highlighters for anything that I need. And I do like it because it does, they do come in the wide range of colors. I have a red, orange, like the full rainbow basically of colors. Um, so yeah, here's the other two. All right. Now, for the rest of the stuff in here, um, I'm going to dig through here. I have this pencil lead, which is a 0.5 uh, 3B, 3B lead. Um, I don't care for 2B. It's a little too hard for what I like. I don't like putting a whole ton of pressure when I write. So I found that using a 3B lead is kind of that nice medium point. I've tried 4B lead before, and here's another one. Um, I tried 4B lead before and it's too soft. So this is a nice uh, medium, nice and dark. Um, this is a friction stamp I just got. I honestly, now I'm thinking about it, I'm, I don't know why I threw this in here. I think I may have just thrown it in here just to kind of throw it in here, but <laughs> I'm, now I'm debating whether or not I'm gonna keep it in here. But um, yeah, so this is kind of the new, um, is it I like you, I like me, or I love me, no, I love me, I love you, or something like that. That's what Il Millie stands for still. Um, but it's a little scrambled egg, and, and maybe that's why I kept it, because, you know, egg's my thing, Guritama's my boy, so. Um, anyway, moving on. I have two Tombow uh, Furinosuke brushes. Um, I, if you folks follow um, Helen Wang from the Coffee Monsters Co., this is her go-to brush. Now, I haven't, I was using this brush pen before she start, you know, before I joined the whole Coffee Monsters Co. and everything, it just, but it, it is a really, really good brush pen, but you know, like her, uh, I guess, endorsement sort of, of it, like, uh, through use is, really popularized it so I have just I have two of them like I said I carry multiples of things just in case but you know um I also bought my sister like several of them as well and I have more that I will be bringing with me um I have these are the same yeah okay so I have these three pens in here and the only reason I'm carrying these three these are just uh cheap ballpoint pens they're actually pretty good um, you click down and then you can either choose that or you can just press this and push that up and then it pops back up. And the reason why I have these two here is because this is actually for a friend. So I want to carry it, make sure it doesn't get packed up with the rest of my stuff um, and goes to the um, to our new location rather than to my friend where it should go to. So anyway, these are really good. Um, what brand is this? I don't even know. Mm, it's a zebra clip on so this one is a two color black and red and my friend wanted the three color one so that's from my friend so make sure I carry that with me um, I have here other multi pens let me just double check here oh it's another one that's okay yeah we'll go to my friend there um let's see so pardon the delay and if it's out of frame because I am looking okay so I have these other two multi pens here so this is the acro ball a 0.3 so another fine tip slightly larger than the, the um, jet stream 0.28 but I mean it's about the same really the grip is a little different so it does write a little different I do like the acro balls it doesn't dry as quickly as uni but um, I haven't needed to really highlight anything lately so it's good um, this has been one of my go-to pens recently. This is the Energel 3. So it has a black, a blue, and a red um, ink inside of it. So this has kind of just been one of my go-to. I really enjoy writing with Energel pens. So, and having the three colors has been really helpful for work. So there's that. Um, let's do some of the other pens here. I know people like have, I mean, they have way less stuff in their pencil case. I'm assuming, I've only watched a couple of videos where I'm like, wow, I carry 
way too much stuff inside um, my pencil case. Let me just, before I get to the real special stuff, let me just kind of grab the, the basic stuff and then we'll move on from there. Okay, so here's the rest of my basic pens. So I have found this at a stationery store. It's called a V-Corn. I, I just thought it was like the weirdest name and that's why I bought it. But you know, it is a very nice like rollerball pen. It's It just writes super smooth. So I don't, I don't remember who, where I got it, but if I do see this particular one again, I'm definitely going to get another one because I really enjoy it. Um, this here is my Muji pen. So um, I think it's a Muji pen. Well, there's no brand, so I'm, I'm guessing it is, but um, someone, my sister may have sent this to me. And what I did is I took the barrel out and I wrapped it in washi tape. So now it kind of has a little bit of like flair to it versus it just being the clear clear barrel i have my uh white pen because i never know when i'm going to need to write on a dark surface um this sakura pen um this is one of my favorite pens to write with it's it has a nice flow a feel like a um like writing with the Energel, it the tip is a little bit different um so i do have to adjust my writing style when i change between the two but I do like the tip. I like that the it's sort of like this kind of lightly rubberized uh, barrel, so it has a nice grip to it. So it's the ball sign ID and the point in the zero five. I tried the smaller one, the thinner tip, the four, and I didn't care for it as much. So the five is where where it's at for me. Um, this here is my other go to pen. Um, it's the Energel. It's a twist. I always make the mistake of twisting it too much and then opening it up, but this is a twist just, just in a standard black. Very comfortable to write with and heavy. It's a metal pen, so it's not plastic. Very um, professional looking, so um, very. that's what drew me to it. And this is my little cheapy Pentel V Feel. V Feel. It is just your uh, like an oil-based ballpoint pen. Very dependable, but like I think this is less than 100 yen per pen, so I may go back and get some more just to bring back with me to the US, but this is one of my go-to pens. Very, very good writing pen. Um, I also have this in the, old, this is the 05, but I have it in the 07 as well. Um, preference is no real preference to the 05 versus the 07. I think I just grabbed this one because it was blue. Um, okay, and now to my real fancy pens. Now, these I'm carrying with me because they're expensive. So that's that's the main reason why I'm carrying these with me. Um, you know, a lot of times you move, you don't want to, when you put things in boxes, you're putting your faith and trust into people to make sure it gets to where it needs to go. And uh, when it comes to my pens, <laughs> I'm going to make sure I hold on to these. So this here is the... Um, Let's see, Century by Platinum. So this one is a retail price of $300, but I got this um, at the Lucky Bag sale for just about $99. Um, it is a gold 14 karat fine tip, and I really enjoy writing with it. it the ink does not dry out like some of the other cheap pens. It's, it's high quality, and it has Sakura. I mean, my favorite, absolute favorite. Um, oh, this one was not supposed to be in there. This is just a cute little permanent marker. Uh, my next couple of expensive pens or more expensive pens are my decimal um, vanishing tip uh, fountain pens. So, of course, I want to keep these. You know, these retail over over a hundred dollars, maybe hundred twenty, hundred thirty dollars. Um, so, you know, I definitely want to make sure I carry these with me. This one is precious to me because this one was given to me by a friend, a dear friend of mine. So it was, she created it um, with me in mind. And I, she didn't know this, but this, um, this was the, the, were the colors for my wedding. This blue with the white with some gold accent. This was the colors for my wedding. So um, I really was really blown away and she had my name put on it. So this is why I'm carrying this, kind of make sure this is a twist top has a thicker um, ballpoint tip but it writes very smoothly I really like writing with it this one it's my Paul and Joe um, also 
the same thing. I think I replaced the inside with a cross, uh, the cross refill. So it writes better than the default refill that was in here before. I like the chrysanthemum pattern and it, again, blue, white, gold matches what I like. So yeah, so that's there. This one, that one cost a little bit. This one wasn't too expensive, but I mean, it's really pretty by Sailor. The pen is, the ink is okay. Sailor, you know, they make really great fountain pens and they really make great inks and stuff, but their ballpoint is kind of on the grayer, not super black side. So it's not my favorite pen as far as like if I want a really dark black ink, but it writes really nicely it does the ink writes smoothly it's just not as dark as i like it and last but not least this is my starbucks pen so this is a i believe it's a sarasa ink it's a twist top this one comes in brown so it's a brown uh up here and um what this actually is is i'm not going to turn it around because what this actually is is it's also a gift card so on the back side here is the number of the gift card associated with it and if i and it there's there's no money on it but um if i loaded money onto the gift card through the app i could just take this pen and put it on the reader boop and then i could charge the gift you know pay for my coffee with my pen essentially so um yeah so it and because it's a sarasa ink it actually writes really really nicely so this is definitely one that i'm keeping with me okay and then last but not least it's the stuff that I have in the side pocket here real quick I have these rubber bands um these were given to me by one of my co-workers and I'm not sure what I, I mean I don't really use rubber bands but I mean they're so cute I, I can't you know I really wanted to if I needed one I have a really cute one to use um, this is some these index films here so little tabs and uh, we're gonna be doing a lot of stuff probably a lot of paperwork things when we get back to the US so I wanted to make sure I had this on me and then finally again like I shown in my previous video my little Snoopy peanuts um, paper clips I mean you never know right we need paper clips so the only thing I don't have here are staples but hey you know what I have cute paper clips so we'll go with that anyway guys that is what i have in my pencil case this particular pencil case um i haven't seen it at the stationery store before there were several other colors i went with the pink um this was about i think regular retail was about ten dollars but they were selling it for about 700 yen Ooh, a little dot. about 700 yen so that's what i bought it for and um, I was surprised with how much stuff actually fits in there. So, um, I'm, yeah, I mean, I'm really happy. I stuffed this thing to the gill and it's nothing is gonna, nothing has exploded out of it yet. So anyway, guys, thanks so much for joining me. I hope, um, you all have a great day. I hope our move goes smoothly. We're not leaving yet for another, um, maybe a couple months, but still that time is going to fly. So if I don't post anything up, um, too often, I do apologize, but once we get settled and everything and with my new stationary adventures, um, gosh, I mean, Michael's Dollar Tree, was it Joanne's, um, Target, all these different places that I have never or haven't shopped at in a very long time. I'm definitely going to share my adventures with you folks. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and as always, aloha.